Lesson 2 Our Solar System The solar system is a fascinating place that includes the Sun, eight planets and many other objects like moons, dwarf planets, asteroids and comets. It's like a big family of objects that are all connected by gravity. At the centre of the solar system is the Sun. It's a huge ball of hot glowing gas that gives us light and heat. The Sun is so big you could fit more than a million Earths inside it. The eight planets in our solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Each planet is unique and has its own special features. For example, Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun and is very hot, while Neptune is the furthest planet and is very cold. The planets all go around the Sun in different paths called orbits. Some orbits are more circular, while others are more elongated. It takes each planet a different amount of time to complete one orbit around the Sun. For example, it takes Earth about 365 days to go around the Sun, which is what we count as one year. The solar system is a vast and amazing place and there is still so much to learn about it. Scientists are always discovering new things and sending spacecraft to explore different parts of the solar system. It's a great adventure. Planetary movements. Planetary rotations. Planetary rotation refers to the spinning motion of the planet around its axis, just like the Earth rotates on its axis causing day and night. Other planets in the solar system also rotate. The axis of rotation is an imaginary line that runs through the center of a planet from its North Pole to its South Pole. The planet spins around this axis, completing one full rotation in a certain amount of time. This rotation is called a day. The length of a day varies from planet to planet. For example, on Earth it takes approximately 24 hours for one complete rotation, which gives us a 24 hour day. However, on other planets, the length of a day can be very different. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun and has a slow rotation. It takes 59 Earth days for Mercury to complete one rotation, so a day on Mercury is about 59 Earth days long. Venus has a very slow rotation as well, but in the opposite direction compared to most other planets. It takes around 243 Earth days for Venus to complete one rotation, so a day on Venus is longer than its year. Mars has a rotation period similar to Earth. It takes 24.6 Earth hours for Mars to complete one rotation, so a day on Mars is only slightly longer than a day on Earth. Jupiter is a gas giant and the largest planet in our solar system. It has a very fast rotation, completing one rotation in only 9.9 .9 Earth hours. This rapid rotation gives Jupiter its distinct flattened shape. Saturn is known for its beautiful rings, but has a relatively fast rotation. It takes 10.7 Earth hours for Saturn to complete one rotation. Uranus and Neptune both have longer rotation periods compared to the gas giants. Uranus takes about 17.2 Earth hours to complete the Brom rotation, while Neptune takes about 16.1 Earth hours. It's interesting to note that some planets, like Venus, have a retrograde rotation, which means they rotate in the opposite direction to their orbit around the Sun. This is different from the prograde rotation of most planets, including Earth. The rotation of a planet affects many aspects of its environment, including the length of its day and distribution of sunlight and darkness. It also influences the planet's weather patterns and formation of the magnetic field. Planetary orbits around the Sun Imagine the Sun as a big bright ball in the centre of the solar system. 
Around the Sun there are eight planets. These planets move around the Sun in a path called an orbit. Each planet has its own orbit, which is like a circular or oval shaped path. The planets don't just move in a straight line, but they also go around the Sun in curved paths. This curved path is what we call an orbit. The planets move in their orbits because of a force called gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls things towards each other and the Sun has a lot of gravity because it's very big and it has a lot of mass. This gravity pulls the planets towards the Sun and keeps them in their orbits. The planets also move at different speeds in their orbits. Some planets, like Mercury, move faster and complete their orbit around the Sun in shorter time. Other planets, like Neptune, move slower and take a longer time to complete their orbit.